Hi, I'm Parker Tessa with WWSC 106.9 FM. Welcome to our sports wrap-up videos. This will highlight this week in Raider Athletics. Also, we will recognize a Wright State athlete that stood out from the competition in our WWSU Athlete of the Week Award. In volleyball, the Raiders defeated the Purdue-Fort Wayne Mastodons by a score of 3 to nothing on Saturday afternoon. Megan Alders led the way in kills with 12. The Raiders will be back in action this weekend against Cleveland State and Oakland. In cross country, the Red State cross country programs return to action on Saturday afternoon when the Raiders make the trip north to run in the Falcon Invitational hosted by Bowling Green. Wright State is coming off competitive races at the Live and Lou Cross Country Classic as the Raider men finished 13th and the Wright State women turned in a 16th place finish. Abigail Halsey turned in a 4th place individual finish on the women's side while Alex McCarty paced the Raiders with his 7th place finish in the men's division. Wright State squared off against 61 other teams in the men's race and 54 other teams in the women's race. The Wright State golf team hits the road for its first competitive rounds of October when the Raiders make the trip south to play in the Georgia State Invitational on Monday and Tuesday. Through three fall tournaments this season, Wright State has had three different individual winners. While the Raiders open the fall with a second place team finish before back-to-back -back team titles at the Earl Yestingmeyer Invitational in the Valpo Fall Invitational in mid-September. The Wright State men's soccer team is coming off a 4 to nothing road victory Saturday night against Purdue-Fort Wayne and looks to keep the winning going with a pair of matches this weekend. The Raiders start the week with a Wednesday matchup at UIC with first scheduled kick for 8 p.m. This is a match that is expected to be streamed on ESPN+. Wright State closes the week at home against Oakland, kicking off from Alumni Field at 2 p.m. on Saturday afternoon. Saturday's match is also expected to be streamed on ESPN Plus. It is also the annual pink game and pink t-shirts will be given away. The Wright State women's soccer team closes their season with three of its final four regular season matches at home beginning Tuesday night when the Raiders welcome the Robert Morris Colonials to Alumni Field for a 7 p.m. start. Wright State ends the week with, a, with its final regular season road matchup making the trip north to Oakland on Saturday afternoon in a 1 p.m. start. Both of the matchups are slated to be on ESPN+. Plus. Thursday's match is the annual pink game with a pink t-shirt giveaway. Well, this week's WWSU Athlete of the Week is Jenna Story of Wright State Volleyball. Jenna reached career dig number 2,000, leaving her less than 100 shy of the career Wright State record of 2,088. Congratulations to Jenna, and she is the WWSU Athlete of the Week. Also, big congratulations to Wright State alum, Nob and Love, on signing a contract with the NBA's G League. Loudon will be drafted to a G League affiliate on October 23rd. Best of luck, Big Lou. This has been Wright State's WWSC wrap-up. Have a good week.